this is an unmistakable orchid. This is a bee orchid, of course. Uh, Ophrys apifera. Ophrys means eyebrow in Greek. It's a difficult to see where the eyebrows are on here, but presumably the Greeks thought there were. An apis, of course, is the Latin for bee. Um, and uh, they are particularly beautiful flowers if you look at them under a lens. And of course what's happening here is that the lower lip of the orchid, the labellum, has mutated over millions of years and it now looks like a bee. And indeed the flower emits uh, chemicals which mimic the scent of a female bee. And so males will come along, they'll, believing that this is a female bee, they'll try to mate with it. And on this plant, uh, no bee has visited this yet, because I can see to the top there are two little yellow lumps of pollen. And once the bee tries to mate with this flower, the yellow pollen gets stuck on its shoulders. It then flies away and pollinates another flower. So it's a very clever dispersal mechanism. Very sophisticated plant. It has these very narrow leaves going up the stem, alternately up the stem, and these beautiful pink um, uh, petaloid parts of the perianth on uh, either side and above the, the bee. Uh, and it's a very interesting plant in the northeast because it seems to be moving northwards. Maybe it's climate change. It was first discovered in my vice county in North Northumberland in the early 2000s. And it's now got to Edinburgh and probably north of there too. So it's an interesting plant to watch out for. There are other varieties of Ophrys that mimic flies and various other things. And our continental brethren um, think there are hundreds of these. There are a lot, a lot of different ones in the Mediterranean with all sorts of metallic colours. But this is our native bee orchid, uh, Ophrys apifera, and one which uh, you would enjoy finding if you can manage it.